must know if anybody else has anything. What I was thinking about, Bill, is when we do, like I'm doing farming and I'm doing holiday cards and I'm doing follow-up notes, is there any rule about using your home address versus your office address as your return address? That's a great Is there any question. hard and fast uh, rule? Is there any, any, any legal issues? No, no. no. Okay. Um, I would personally, um, I think I hear what, I would tell me what, uh, let me throw some ideas out at you. Right. Normally I would say definitely use your mailing or your, uh, your office address. But if you use your office address, are you're 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 coming across as like the the salesman rather than the person right. is right. that where you're headed well 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 i'm you know i'm doing like a bunch of things so so in other words if i have a great cold call some uh, if i have a great cold call with somebody i'll follow up with a handwritten note that night that'll come from my address uh from my home address holiday cards i send from my i think they should come from my home address personally but then i have my farm that i sent to two mailings out to so far. Those I have sent from my home address, I'm wondering if it's more if it's more impersonal with the farming, if that should be, or if that's any kind of legally should be from my home address and something like, if it's more of an impersonal nature. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. I mean, I would actually, I actually almost think the complete opposite. Which it, and I'm not telling you you're doing it wrong. I'm just I'll share with you my my mindset around it. You can, you know, take it on or not take it on. I I, I kind of think that everything should be from the work address. From the work address, okay. Right. Which is look, I'm sending you this. I'm I'm a professional. Like this is my professional work address. Okay. Like I wouldn't be writing you. Like no offense, but I probably wouldn't be writing you if it wasn't. Um from my, if, if we weren't in a, if real estate, perfect, being a professional real estate wasn't part of um, my work, I wouldn't be sending you this message. Okay, okay. Right? And so I do tend to be a bit more of a private person and well, therefore like, I don't necessarily need that. I mean, they can look it up. I mean, I own- That's a understandable property. too. I own property. I mean, they can say, oh, Bill said he lives in Atlanta. He either lives in DeKalb County or Fulton County. And in 10 seconds, they could figure out where I live right. and then they could pop it into Zillow and find out what it's worth. Right. And they could see in pictures of my bedroom. I mean, like we, we, it doesn't take much to like get pretty intrusive. Right. Um, for me, for me, I was thinking about just to play devil's advocate. I was thinking maybe more like taking it from like, from a neighbor perspective, like, Hey, I'm your neighbor. I'm not somebody from Ackworth who's reaching out to you. I'm, I'm your neighbor. You can, you can see I'm from the envelope. I'm, 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 a town away from you kind of thing. So that's where I was kind of going with that. But I can, I can, and I sort of do agree with your point. I sort of do agree with, 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 with your point. There's, I, I will enclose my business card often. See, that, see, that's another discussion, right? Is if you're sending a happy holidays card, should you enclose your business card? Oh, well, no, no, I'm sorry, not with the happy holidays, but but say, for example, I, 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 had, I had two great cold calls today. So I'm, I'm going to send handwritten notes tonight, include my business card in it, where do they come from? What's the, what's the return address? If you're asking me what I would do strictly yeah. based on my personality, it would be from the work address. Okay. And my logic there is um, it's a work related message. Okay. Right. If you were their financial advisor, you would want it to come from their, your work address. Sure. <laughs> I would think that it's similar. Okay. Um, that's not to say that you've like done it wrong or anything like that. I think, I think there's something to be said for that. Um, however, me personally, it would be the um, work address. Okay. Okay. And that's the logic. Like, and, and I'll tell you, it, I even, I've internalized this a little bit because you know how a lot of people are like, Hey, um, I'm going to farm my neighborhood. Right which is me, which is me right now. That's what I'm in the so, middle. I got to be honest with you, man. I have a little different role right now, but when I used to live in a town community and there were 20 people that lived in the neighborhood, <laughs> excuse me, I worked from home a lot. Right. And I didn't really want them to like, be like, dude, Bill's always sitting out on the porch making calls. Does he actually even work? Okay. You see what I'm okay. saying? Like, 
Okay. My, my car was like there a lot. Okay. So I didn't feel like there was anything unique or special about those 19 other properties that like was any better than the other 19 next door. Right. Got it. Got it. <clears throat> what I mean, excuse me. What I mean by that is like farming my neighborhood. It like, there was no significance to farming my neighborhood. To me. It was just farming. Right. And I was probably even more adverse to farming in my neighborhood because I wanted to retain the privacy a little bit. Okay. However, there, and, and I'll tell you subconsciously, I was probably less likely to set farm my neighborhood because like I wasn't all that close with a lot of the neighbors. Right. And I didn't want to like, Put in the effort and then sub have them list with somebody else okay it was almost like it was freeing me to like not take it personally if one of my neighbors listed with somebody else okay. so another sign went in the yard and i'm like well obviously i'm not marketing to them i'm not marketing you right okay right, good for the other agent okay so it subconsciously it was probably some a, a bit of defense Okay. Now, I know that sounds strange. I, I totally no, I understand your point. No, that's a valid point. Right. Valid point. Um, but to me, whether it was my neighborhood or the other neighborhood, it didn't really matter to me. Okay. Right. But as far as, but as far as if I sit, but as far as with anything with KW, I have a KW, is there anything that, that has to be an office, any kind of legal that has to come from no. you? And if, if I'm putting myself out as a KW agent, but not, you know, coming from the office, does it matter? No, kind of I don't thing. believe, okay. I'm not aware of any okay. rules or regulations that you would be infringing upon if you were to do what we just discussed. Okay. You make good uh, points though. I appreciate it. That's good points. I have to really think about that. Maybe think about it a little differently what I'm doing. I, you know, but I don't, I'm not telling you you're wrong. It's just a different, it's just a yeah. different. Uh, yeah. And, um, I could see how that could be um, helpful, but like, I don't know. I just, I never wanted like an angry, not that they couldn't find me, but like, you know, somebody gets pissed that something. Well, that's what I've heard right. too. I've heard some stories. Door and they're like, hey, I've been trying to call you for an hour. I'm like, yeah, and that's my family. We're having dinner. Yeah. And and I've heard stories about that. I've heard horror stories about that because I've looked it up and they say, yeah, that, 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 that they'll get a knock on their door saying, hey, stop this. I don't, I don't want, you know, get me off your list and they'll knock on your door and yeah, and I am literally, a, you know, half a mile away, a mile away. So yeah, yeah, I'm opening myself up to that potentially. Uh, yeah, I think if it was me, know. you asked me what I would do. Right. I would use the office address. Cool. All right. Um, however, if you do the other way, it doesn't bother me a bit. Okay. Okay, okay. cool. Thanks. Any, Sorry, um, Ebony and Travis didn't mean to kind of <laughs> monopolize things, but. That's all good. Um, any anything else that's on your mind, guys? Well, I'm actually responding to one of my contacts I made the other day. I'm writing him on the other street. Uh, yeah, there you go, man. Keep it up. Keep it he, up. Has, he knows everybody in Atlanta. This guy's a bartender. He's been a bartender for 20 years. Oh, bartenders are fantastic. Yeah, bartenders are great. Yeah. They know who's sleeping with who. They know who's getting divorced. They know who wants to move. They know everything. And you said too before, Bill. I think you said like barbers also, like yeah, hairstylists, uh, hair stylist, and nail salon yeah. people, or nail salon people. Um, because you, because because you sit in that chair and you talk, yeah, and you, and you sit well, at that bar and you talk, right? Well, you're the you sit in where you are, and the community just comes and goes, yeah. it comes and goes, right? Yeah. So who are those types of people, right? Maybe it's the clerk at the grocery store, right? Maybe it's the the manager at the grocery store. Maybe it's the um, the teacher. Maybe it's the people, the person that works at the school. Maybe it's the person that um, uh, I mean. There's the, the list could go on and on. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna run, and then I will be in the KW Roswell training page in three minutes, and I will get started with the class on the GPS and the 411. Okay. Thank you for your time. I uh, hope today was helpful. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks, Bill. So long, everybody. Bye bye.